Critical Information Literacy. Step one. Our first goal is to get our students to understand that not everything on the web is true. And for this, we are helping our students move from browsers to users. A browser is someone who just goes and flits around for information and doesn't worry too much about it, whereas a user is actually trying to find something useful. And so we want our students to become users who understand that not everything is true so that they may need to discard certain things. The problem is that that's step one of many. Additionally, the problem is that too often we think that that's the only step, and too often that's all we get across to our students. So there are a variety of checklists that are okay for this, things like the five W's from Kathy Schrock, the authority, accuracy, objectivity, currency, and coverage, and there are a variety of grade level rubrics out there as well. So here's a image of the five W's, we want to ask who, what, when, where, and why. So who wrote the pages and are they an expert? Is a biography of the author included and so forth? What, what does the author say is the purpose of the site? What else might the author have in mind for the site and so forth? When, when was the site created? When was the site last updated, etc. And where, where does the information come from? Where can I look to find out? more about the sponsor of the site, and why, why is this information useful for my purpose, why should I use this information, etc. So there are a variety of sites that are useful for getting this kind of point across. So for example, the All About Explorers site is a great website giving us information about explorers. And we can read about Christopher Columbus. So Christopher Columbus, was born in 1951 in Sydney, Australia. And uh, Columbus knew he had to make this idea of sailing using a Western route more popular. So he produced and appeared on infomercials and so forth. So you can see this site was intentionally made with some serious factual errors because it's so easy to put something on the web that just plain isn't true. Another example is the Pacific Northwest tree octopus. And there's a site made for that that's specially made to confuse people about this non-existent animal, site that's not true. And we can easily get our students to think about there are sites out there that aren't true. Here's another one, the California Velcro crop under challenge, talking about how important it is to get the right amount of rainfall to grow Velcro obviously not true. And then this site, martinlutherking.org, has lots of information about Martin Luther King. But one of these sites isn't quite like the others. So that will lead us to step two, the fact that truth is really only step one. 